Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at the Scorpio moon. So very excited to be getting into the moon sign series. This video is for you if you do have your moon sign in the sign of Scorpio. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. The moon sign is all to do with our inner worlds, who we truly are deep down inside. It's all to do with our emotional worlds, okay? So how we react emotionally, how we operate on the emotional level. It's also all to do with the mother. And sometimes it's going to give us a little bit more insight as to what past lives you may have had. So very excited to be getting into Scorpio moon. Very intense placement to have. You guys are all about the psychic world, psychic realm, mediumship. It's all about the subtle energies, okay? All about the subtle realms. It's all about trust with you guys highly private as a lot of people do say scorpios are highly private so if scorpio does allow you into their inner circle okay if the scorpio moon does allow this you guys should consider yourselves lucky because they don't allow a lot of people they don't trust a lot of people they can have placements like gemini leo um libra within their chart okay where they are chatty maybe they have a lot of friends a lot of friend groups okay they could be very sociable but because of the fact that they have the scorpio moon not a lot of people are going to be allowed in there. The thing with Scorpio Moon is they're very selective about who they allow into their inner world. And also, they're very quick to cut people out. Okay, so let's say a Scorpio Moon feels betrayed in any way, shape, or form. If you betray their trust, it's done for you. Honestly, this is the energy with Scorpio Moon. It's like they're very open. And especially if they have allowed you into that inner circle, which is going to be very limited. Okay, and even those people who are in, in the inner circle, they're still not going to fully know the Scorpio Moon person because of the fact that they just don't show themselves fully. They understand how energy works. So let's say the Scorpio Moon person has a lot of goals or ambitions or things in mind that they want to do. The people closest to them, they're still probably not going to tell them because they know how energy works. They basically know that until something is done, they're not going to other, allow other people's energy to interfere in that, okay? And they do learn this throughout their life, okay? They really do learn this. Maybe when they're younger, they do allow people in and then somehow the energy gets messed up with like a goal or ambition they had in mind and quickly they learn throughout their life not to allow people into that aspect of themselves because again they know how energy works so it's like they're very much still they're going to have people in their circle they're not they're going to have people they're close to but those people are still not going to fully know them they're not going to know what they're thinking they're not going to know what they're feeling and a lot of this is actually connected to the mother okay so a lot of the time what happens with these moon signs it's like they have a specific type of mother they want to incarnate into and basically have raise them. So with the Scorpio moon, because it's all about intense emotions, it's all about intensity, it's literally like cathartic moments in life. They're all about transmuting emotions throughout their entire life. So what kind of mother are they expecting? Well, they want a mother who's going to be emotionally available. They want one who's going to be able to hold space for them, understand them on an emotional level. What happens most of the time? We get the exact opposite of that, okay? Because that's where you have the most amount of growth. So for the Scorpio moon person, a lot of the time they do incarnate into a dynamic with the mother where the mother was either controlling, possessive, okay? Could have been emotionally unavailable, emotionally neglect, okay? There's emotional neglect that takes place with the Scorpio moon or just emotional abandonment. So throughout their life, the Scorpio moon placement is basically dealing with emotional abandonments, okay? So this is why they don't really trust people because from young, they basically learn like, if I express my emotions fully, then, you know, it's not going to be accepted or it's not going to be reciprocated. Because a lot of the time, when we talk about the abandonment wound, which in general, Scorpio as a sign deals with, but in general, what we talk about is the abandonment wound is assumed to be like just physical abandonments. But no, Scorpio moon especially, it's emotional abandonments, okay? So for the Scorpio moon, like if you guys are tuning in and you're like, well, how do I deal with this or how do I handle this? They basically have to learn how to be on their own, okay? They have to learn how to be on their own because otherwise they're going to struggle with codependency and dynamics because it's like they don't allow a lot of people in. So when they do allow people in, they want to hold on to them for their life. And this is where the possessive energy might come in with the Scorpio placement because Scorpio, when it's in the shadow, it could be very possessive possessive, very controlling, very manipulative because Scorpio is very intelligent, okay? And they're intelligent in the way where it's like they're operating on the energetic plane. So they really learn people, okay? They really learn people. They really get into people's heads, okay? They really understand like they almost have like a psychic connection with every single person that they interact with. And because of this, the other person always feels like nobody understands them, like the Scorpio moon person gets them. But sometimes this goes in the shadow, right? 
sometimes it goes in the shadow where it's like the scorpion moon person is doing this to subconsciously get this person under their grasp right because they're afraid that the person might leave them okay so what i would suggest personally to people with this placement is learn to have a lot of friends learn to be more open with more people so you don't feel like you just have to hold on to that one person and also learn to be on your own so you're not afraid of being on your own okay that's my biggest um advice to this placement because otherwise you guys are always going to get into dynamics with people where it's like you're trying to hold on to the person for your life and the people end up leaving okay because the thing is most of the time like scorpio moon does tend to attract people into their life that again are the opposite of what they're seeking because they're meant to heal this this is a wound that they're meant to heal and transmute throughout their life okay they're basically meant to learn to be okay with first of all not being fully accepted in terms of your emotional world okay and still sharing your emotions with people instead of again finding one person that you really you know are able to resonate with and hold on to that person for dear life okay so huge thing for the scorpio moon to understand throughout their life okay is really this and to heal this abandonment wound more so like i mentioned emotional abandonments so also they tend to be psychic but the thing is another shadow aspect of scorpio so here's the thing scorpio goes through three different transformations throughout their life some people are going to say seven i stick to three some people are going to say different animals i just stick to the lowest version of scorpio is the scorpion okay then it goes into the eagle which is like you see things from a little bit of a higher perspective and then you go into the phoenix rising which is like i'm here i have arrived okay you are the master alchemist so that's what scorpio moon is here to do they're here to transmute emotions and they're really meant to transmute emotions through some form of arts okay so that's what ends up happening because it's all to do with the sacral chakra when it comes to scorpio energy in general especially scorpio moon so it's like they have all these emotions they go through a lot of intense experiences there's a lot of trauma that they experience early on in life especially and sometimes it's carried over sometimes it's carried over because scorpio also deals with sexuality so there could have been some form of sexual abuse either in this lifetime or in a past life and they're meant to transmute that energy okay or just trauma in general anything on an emotional level they're going to go through huge transformations throughout their life on an emotional level and basically like the scorpio moon is meant to get into that phoenix rising state where it's like they've transmuted all their emotions they've come out of that lower level version of scorpio where it's like they're just kind of beneath them um, the surface hanging out trying to hold on to people for your life all these sorts of things that you're still in like the scorpion energy if you're in that that's really what scorpio moon is meant to do in this lifetime they're meant to learn to transmute energy and do something with that energy so it's like a lot of the time it does manifest into art whether that's singing songwriting um writing in general okay whether it is painting they're meant to basically channel their emotions outwards onto something okay so that's a huge thing to understand for the scorpio moon as well so that's the thing with scorpio moon it's like you know they're gonna feel like throughout their life people don't understand them a lot of the time you know because like they're so psychic they're gonna pick up on things and then they're gonna struggle with people not resonating with that but a lot of time what happens is people come back to the scorpio moon person and they're gonna say oh you were right right but that's the thing like i find scorpio moon is almost always seeking this validation on a psychic level right they're almost always looking for people to be like oh you were right okay about that thing that you picked up on but people aren't because most people can't see right most people can't see things that the scorpio moon can see because scorpio moon operates beneath the surface it's all about the energies so there a lot of time they could be clairsentient okay where they feel it in their bodies and they pick up on the most subtle energy and it's like most of the time they are correct but most people aren't going to pick up on this okay especially people who don't have scorpio placements they're not going to be able to pick up on this or just water placements in general any placements that are psychic in that sense so this is the thing like with scorpio moon a lot of time you're going to have to especially if it, if it comes to like a relationship or something of that sort you're going to need to manifest people into your life that are also probably highly psychic or intuitive in that way otherwise if they're very much just like about the everyday you're not going to get along with them obviously depends on the rest of your chart as usual but the thing is it's like you know and you're not going to have interest that's the thing with the scorpio moon it's like they don't care about anything unless it's deep okay this is the thing they love to be able to connect with people on that deep uh, level in terms of like mind body spirit all connecting right this is why they make intense sexual partners as well and this is why a lot of people don't forget them because again they just understand people on a way in a, in a, on a level that other people don't understand them okay this is really the, the thing with scorpio and this is why a lot of the time scorpios get like labeled as like hypersexual and all these sorts of things but scorpio moon like can go either way this is the thing with scorpio energy it's like either they can be hypersexual and have a lot of partners or they can go in the complete shadow aspect where it's like they can also be celibate and withhold on sex especially in like emotional dynamics so like let's say they're dating someone you know let's say there's something again they don't like that that person did they can use sex as a weapon so this is a shadow aspect of the scorpio moon energy as well okay so important to understand this and just important to just understand in general like 
that this is something that you might be doing and you know seeing how you can work with the energy inside this is why astrology is actually really good because it basically gives us a good idea of who you are based off of your planets and then how can you balance that energy that's the way that i see astrology at least right so scorpio moon does tend to also so the shadow aspect of scorpio moon once again is they want power okay so you're gonna see i mean i'm not gonna mention in this video but there's a lot of people who are in places of power okay or even in the entertainment industry which again equates to power right there are a lot of people who are in these industries that are Scorpio moons, okay? And I'm not surprised because, again, for them, they want that safety, right? They want that safety and they want to be able to control because in the current day that we're living in, finances do equal control. So for them, they really actually, and also another thing that's coming through to mention is they operate on the on the axis, which is the money axis, right? They also deal with other people's money. So the second house is Taurus and Taurus deals with your own personal finances. The eighth house deals with other people's money. So joint finances, joint resources, um, all these sorts of things. So it's like Scorpio, especially as a sign, also wants to be wealthy, especially Scorpio because it's like in the emotional world. That's the thing that people don't talk about with Scorpio a lot of the time. They focus on the other things. But Scorpio also wants to be wealthy, okay? They want to have money because for them, money is control, right? They're in control. This is the thing that Scorpio struggles with in general. It's like the aspect of control. So if you do have this placement, throughout your life you're probably going to pick up on this or it's just going to be something that you have to work on throughout your life just being okay with not being in control that's probably going to be something that's going to be um highly beneficial for you throughout your life okay to basically be okay with not being in control in certain situations but yeah you'll see a lot of powerful figures who have scorpio moon because they're in the shadow aspects shadow aspects of scorpio wants to be in control they want the power they want the money they want the luxury they do and nobody expects that and like they operate on the energetic level so it's like they look at how they can achieve these things without working hard in the sense like they don't want to work hard in the physical plane because they know because they know they don't have to okay so that's the thing with scorpio one is like they know they don't have to work hard on the physical plane obviously it depends on the rest of your charts but generally they know this so it's like they're gonna go after things and look at ways that they can achieve energetically so they're gonna be super into manifestation they could even be into the occult whether it's the light or dark aspects of it right they're going to be into like again manipulating energy manipulating things they're going to be into like get rich quick schemes right they're always going to be looking to change their financial status quickly okay so it could be things like crypto or just gambling right things like like um going to the slots or whatever that's what i'm saying psychically but this is another thing with scorpio moon as well okay so this is the thing it's such an interesting placement because it's like there's a lot that people don't expect especially with scorpio energy and scorpionic energy in general like they just like i think I think people see Scorpio energy and they're like hypersexual, uh, you can't trust them. A lot of them do end up being cheaters, okay, because of this. It's like if they pick up on the most subtle thing within like their partner, and it's like this is what happens with Scorpio Moon. It's like if they do cheat on their partner, it's more so to be vengeful. So that's another thing with Scorpio Moon. It's like they're very vengeful. And another thing I didn't even mention, probably should have mentioned all the way at the beginning, is like scorpio used to be ruled by mars so they're very fiery okay they're very much like fiery energetically like i totally see why they're a water sign because they operate on the energy plane but it's like they're very fiery so it's like they're going to be feisty they're going to be sassy they're going to be very much like go-getters in terms of like things that they want but they can also be explosive so on the emotional level scorpio moon can be very much explosive especially if they're unhealed okay and this is the thing again you wouldn't expect because people think Scorpio is just quiet and they're in the corner, but it's like if things bubble up for them, they're going to be explosive because Scorpio used to be the god of war, right? They used to be ruled by Mars. And Mars is just intense, okay, in this sense, because it's like very much, again, about fight or flight. So it's like this is another thing. If you do have this placement, you just have to work on the anger aspect of it and channeling, again, those emotions in a different way. But this is the thing. It's like most of the time, a lot of the emotions of Scorpio do tend to get bubbled up. And it's like if they get pushed over the edge... They might explode and they're not again going to show this to everybody this is the thing with scorpio it's like they only show you things they want you to see highly intelligent like they are so intelligent they even know how to act okay so this is the thing with them it's like they're so good at observing people they're able to pick up on like again how people react in certain situations so scorpio moon does the same thing okay so they're going to show you an aspect that they want you to see but you're not going to know the full aspect of them unless you're like fully in their emotional world so this is probably going to come out in, the, in dynamics where it's like either you're their closest friend or it's going to be like you're uh, their partner or their lover it's coming through as lover right but it's like where you're just super close to them that's when they're going to show you those aspects of themselves but otherwise you're going to not present it to the world is really what that is that's another thing especially if they're in the lower version of scorpio and they basically have work to do which is like scorpio does 
this is the thing with scorpionic energy in general they do go through these transformations to get to the phoenix rising so a lot of them do go through that part where they are in the lower aspects of themselves i mean that's the only way you can actually transmit the energy to get the, to the higher aspects of themselves but regardless it's like once you guys are able to master the scorpionic energy you're basically able to manifest anything you want you're able to get anything you want in this world because you become that alchemist okay? you're able to try to do energy like this but the thing that holds the scorpionic energy back is a lot of the emotional wounding and they get trapped they get trapped in the emotional wounding and just wounding in general in terms of the abandonment wound so they might stay in dynamics longer than they should they might stay in relationships longer than they should jobs all these sorts of things because they give him give them some form of security okay but this is really what the scorpio moon is meant to work through in this lifetime is meant to push through that energy and actually get into that phoenix rising state especially if you have it in your emotional worlds okay so like i mentioned earlier being okay with expressing yourself fully being okay with showing more people aspects of yourselves is probably going to be very healing for the scorpio moon and just finding ways to transmute this energy in terms of art so i'm going to wrap up this video here i do hope you guys did enjoy my video on the scorpio moon if you did please do like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day